Uh, hi guys, I am Sierra Chime, and I welcome you back to another episode of my Super Mario 64 Let's Play. In the last episode, we made it to the Womp's Fortress, where we took on the remaining three Power Stars that were there, in addition to the 100 coin Hidden Star that was there. And then after that, we went back to the Jolly Roger Bay, where we also took on the 8 Red Coin mission there, and got the Hidden 100 coin Power Star. And in this episode, well, if you're wondering why I'm crouched in a corner and I am talking in a very depressed tone of voice, reason being is because in this episode we are going to try and get all the stars that are remaining in the Cool Cool Mountain, my least favorite stage in the game. And the reason I am not looking forward to this is because this is actually my 16th time trying to record this and get this just right. I keep dying, losing all my lives, and failing the attempts. So yeah, this is my 16th attempt, and while I would like to sit here and just cower in fear, we're going to go ahead and jump into the cool, cool mountain and try to get the remaining stars that are there. So we got quite a bit to do in this episode, and we're going to try to go ahead and get it all done if we possibly can. And here we go into my least favorite... Oh, I hate this stage. I just hate ice mechanics, and this stage just has every bit of it. Alright, well, the next mission is the sole reason I've been here trying to do this for 16 times. What is that mission, you ask? Well, let's jump into the ping, and I'll show you. The next mission in this chain is the Frosty Slide for the 8 Red Coins. Now, just like the other stages, we are going to get the 8 Red Coins, but we are also going to get the 100 Coin Star as well that is hidden in the stage. Now, the only way to actually do this to my knowledge, and I have not actually found any other way, we are going to have to slide down into this cavern and re-race this penguin. You don't have to beat the penguin, but you do have to go down here, and if you do this just right, you can actually get 60 to 75 coins of the sub of the 100, excuse me, that we need. And you can see there's a red coin spinning there. We'll get that in a little bit. Wow, I'm getting off topic. Well, anyway, we are going to get the red coins in a little bit, but first I want to actually tackle this slide, because I'd hate to show you how to get a majority of the coins, the red coins, and then die on the slide. That is the whole reason I've had to re-record this 16 times. All right, so we go down here. And like I said, we will have to race this penguin again, but you're not actually trying to win this thing. You're just more or less, just let the penguin get ahead. You want to do this slide very carefully and get as many coins as possible. The more that you get, the better off you'll actually be. So there's a blue coin right there. We do need to get that, or I'd highly recommend you do that. That's right, so one. once we get that, just kind of take your time. Do this very slowly at, at, at your own pace. Like I said, we're not here to win. We're just more or less here to get as many coins as possible. This is where the bulk of your coins can will actually come from. Here you can see we've already got 29. Now a little turn up here if I can do this. Come on, Mario, don't die on me again. Oh no! No! Good grief, what does it take to get through this annoying slide? Oh, I hate this thing! This is one of those moments where you want to tear every single one of your hairs out of your head in frustration. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and go, let this annoying penguin go. I wasn't even racing the penguin I died that time. Just to give you some info about what I've actually been doing, I have tried to race this penguin going super fast and I've died. I've taken my time like you've seen and I've died. I've even stood up there for like 10 minutes waiting for him to get done and once he's actually gotten down there, slide down there, and I still die! Ah, I'm, I'm, I might show some of my failed attempts a little bit later, but... Oh, good grief. This has been the most frustrating part of this game. No, no. Keep going. Please survive. Oh, thank goodness. So far, so good. All right, we're up to 54 coins. Getting as many of these as we can. Go on, you stupid penguin. I have no love for you anymore. I hate penguins in this game. They're evil. More evil than the guy that invented homework. All right, once we do this, there is 74 coins. Apparently, you can get more. I don't care what the stupid penguin has to say. Alright, so now that we've successfully done this, thank goodness, we can now start actually getting the red coins. Oh, no more annoying penguins going, meow, meow. You know how annoying that would be if I kept doing that all through the Let's Play? Oh, well, anyway, once you actually take that slide, you will have a majority of your coins right there, so thankfully we don't have to do a whole lot. And like I said, now that we've got that, we will officially start going for the red coins. Your first one, if you actually took the slide that I took, will actually be in this tree here. Just climb up, stand up on it, and then get your first coin. Now your second coin, what you're actually going to want to do, you will notice that there is actually a red coin spinning over there, but I am not going to count that when it's number two, because number two will actually be over here. Be careful when you get this one, because you might slide off something I actually did in my think recording number eight. So once we get that, we go over here and we will get our third coin. Now once you get this, if I haven't shown it already, there's actually a little secret here. 
And that is if you go over here and stand right at the end of this bridge, you will actually teleport all the way back up to the top, which is awesome. Now if you go over here, your fourth red coin will actually be right here. We'll climb up and get that. Now your fifth one, well, there are several ways you can actually go. You can slide down if you want to. And I probably will do that in a little bit, but I'm actually going to go over here because our fifth coin is actually... We'll need to go over here on this ledge at some point, so... Slide down here, do this very carefully. Don't fall off if you can help it. Thank goodness I didn't. And here we have a one-up. Wow, I wish I knew that was there. Well, I kind of did. Would you get... Even the one-ups are avoiding me. What is... This game wants me to die. I swear it wants me to die. Alright, so there's coin number five. Now once you do that, you could jump down here, but be careful because you will take damage like that if you're not careful. Now, number six will actually be right here. You can get this. Now, there's actually a bridge over there that you can long jump to, and I wouldn't ne necessarily recommend you do it. Well, if you want to, you can. It is very much possible. If you go over here, you will see that the star will actually pop up here when you get all eight coins, and there is another little thing here of interest, which is the blue box that you could throw a switch for, but I will show you guys that in just a little bit. For now, we're just going to kind of go back around. If I don't die... Awesome, I made that. Once we actually do that, we'll go over here. I'll get down here. There we go. Once we take this bridge down. I have no remorse for creatures that die. Or anything like that. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. There's a few coins. I don't really have much more. No, don't die. Don't die. I cannot stomach another recording of this. Okay, there's a few coins there. I would have liked to... Oh, I was scared to death I was going to get that star. I am real jumpy in this level. Okay. Oh, uh, your next red coin, I have a feeling, has jerkish placement. And hopefully I am wrong. Oh, yes, I am. I thought it might have been on the tiny island. We will need that island for a little bit later, but I am not too worried about it right now. Your seventh red coin, I do believe, as is your seventh, is actually right here. Pick this up. And coin number eight is actually over here. So we'll go over here and get this thing here in a minute. Here we see this weird snowball thing. We'll check that out later. It's not really that important right now. All right, your eighth red coin is right here. And when you get this, the star will pop up on that little bridge. And if you want to, you can go get that if you want to, but I'm not going to because I have a couple more stars I'd like to get. Just a couple more stars. I have a couple more coins I'd like to get. I could find them. That's just a one-up over there. Not worth your time. Now, if you don't have enough coins at this point, you might be able to find the remaining coins around this area somewhere. But unfortunately, if you don't, it appears that I don't have enough coins. I'm actually going to have to take the way around the snowmen to actually get around there. Quit sliding all over the place, you crazy plumber. All right, jump, you crazy snowman. Once he jumps again, there we go. All right, more or less, you know what, I'll just go ahead and do it now. Well, I guess I won't do it. Some things are better, better to show, right? All right, get down here and... What did Mario do? He got... Oh... Okay, that's the first time I have ever seen Mario get stuck with his butt in the snow with nothing else of him. Hmm, I'll figure that one out. Alright, so we're going to teleport back up to the top of the mountain. And once we actually get up here... Oh, I did not think this through very thoroughly. Well, you can find a few coins over here, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on that. And of course... No! No! No, you stupid thing! Well, if you did slide down here, I want to get up there. Let me up there. I hate this level. All right, I made it. Well, if you actually slide down there from that little ledge that was there, you can, you can make your way over here, and this might look familiar. So, yeah, this is another way to get down here. We'll just go ahead and hit this thing. And there will be a couple of stars that pop up. And there is our 100 coin star. So, we're going to go ahead and get this. Thank goodness. And that takes care of the hidden 100 coin star in this level. Do I want to save? No, I don't want to save for a reason you guys already know. Alright, so once we got that, we're just going to go head over here and get this star, and we are going to call this mission done. Thank goodness. Alright, so 16th time was the charm. Thank goodness. My least favorite mission on the stage is done. And with its completion, we've got power star number 28. Or 27, 28, rather. And with that out of the way, I think we're going to jump back in and tackle the next mission we got. So we'll just jump back in here. The next mission we have to do is... Snowman's lost his head. Hmm. So we, apparently there is a snowman somewhere on this stage that has lost its head, but I cannot for the life of me to figure out where that is. I don't know, did you guys see a weird snowball that was sitting around somewhere? 
Well, if you don't know where the snowball is, what the snowman is, rather, what you want to do is you just want to more or less slide down here. I didn't do a good enough job in the last mission showing it. You slide down here, and once you get over here, you can actually jump up there, and that is your coin over there, your star and everything. So anyway, we're just going to slide down here. Once we actually get down here, be careful not to fall off. You will fall off. And over here, we see this, there's this weird snowman with a head. I think this might be it. What does we got to say? Oh no! Talk about out-of-body experiences. My body has melted away. How did it melt away in this place? Maybe it fell off a cliff. Hmm. Anyway. Have you run into any headhunters lately? Um, I didn't know any existed in this day and age. Probably they do, but no, I have not. I could sure use a new body. Urgh. My face might freeze like this. Um, I really don't know what to say about that, except this is the creepiest thing in the world. Well, apparently we have this conscious snowman thing here, and he is looking for a body. If you don't know where his body is, well, we're going to have to go all the way back up to the top of the mountain in order to do this. So what you want to do after you actually talk to this guy is you want to go back around here, past these snowmen. And then once we do that, this guy will jump when I happen to get underneath him, thank goodness. Alright, we're going to take our little warp point that will take us all the way up to the back the, to the back to the top. Get our star coin first, or not, and say we did, and call it a... No, don't fall off Mario. Oh, I hate this stage. Alright, we're going to teleport back up to the top. Now, where your, the, the body of the snowman actually is... Well, it's actually over here. You want to kind of take this way around this way, but you want to jump here and just literally just get yourself to walk here because the snowman's body will actually be right here. So I'd actually recommend you kill this enemy because it can be annoying trying to deal with them, especially if you mess this up. All right, so once we do that, we will see this snowball here. If we talk to it, apparently it can talk even though it has no head. I need a good head on my shoulders. Do you know of anybody in need of a good body? Please, I'll follow you if you do. Alright, so with that, there goes the snowball, and he was going to supposed to follow us, but again, we did not go with it, or we were supposed to go with it. Well, anyway, what was supposed to happen is you were supposed to go down first, and this snowball will actually follow you around. But apparently it wanted to go on its own, so we're just going to wait here for the snowman, the snowman's buddy to get here. And while I do that, I'll just keep doing backflips. Get up here, you crazy snow buddy thing. I'm waiting. Still waiting. No! 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 <laughs> Doggone it. Uh, Alright, well, apparently we're going to have to go all the way back up to the top because I have horrible coordination. Uh, I'm so bad at this level. So I'm going to head back to the snowman's body. I'll meet you guys back up there in just a little bit. Be right back. Alright, I apologize for the cut there, guys. And I also apologize for the damage I'm taking. I kind of had a hard time getting back up here, such as the case with this stage. Alright, so once we actually get up here, again, the snowman is just going to follow us if we talk to it. And he just says the same thing. Again, I don't know how he talks when he does that. But anyway, after he gets done talking, you want to slide down before him and literally lead this snow body to where it wants to go. If you fall off, you will have to do this over again. So, as we slide down, you will see we're making the snow body a little bit better. Hey, do you want to build a snowman? Totally had to do that there. Alright, come on, you worthless thing. Follow me, follow me. Are you following me? You're not following me. Come on, over here, over here, over here. I'm going to die. You stupid thing. No. No, come back, you stupid snowball. Oh, doggone it. All right. I'm going to head back up to the top again. I'll meet you guys there in just a little bit. Be right back. Okay, so apparently I lied to you guys. I am not heading back to the snowman. I'm actually going to die and then try this again. And I died on accident, not on purpose. Alright, snowman's lost his head. We've already seen that. Yada, yada, yada. Let's go just talk to the snowman, build our snowman, and get our star so we can get out of this stupid level. Alright, so we get down here and talk to this annoying guy. Yes, I know, you're missing your head. We're going to slide down and get it. Alright, follow me, you stupid snowball. Come on, we're going to build a snowman whether we want to or not. No, I don't know if this thing is a snowman. All right, no, don't fall off Mario. Slide. No, no! Oh, 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 oh. Words cannot begin to describe how much I hate this stage. Oh, I swear, if I didn't have to do this stage, I wouldn't, but... 
Wouldn't be a complete let's play if I didn't, so back in for attempt number three. Uh, and you guys thought I was lying about those 16 recording attempts. Well, I am not, and I may have to scrap this if this doesn't work out. Alright, gonna go down here again. Do this very carefully. As you can see, this this level is just downright tedious. I don't know who I... You dog! You are the worst snow body thing ever. You know what? I can't beat that, so I'm just gonna fall off. Meet me down at the hill. This is one thing you do. I wouldn't recommend you do it, because you can fall off quite easily. What's going to end up happening is the snow buddy's going to come down here. And we just want him to literally follow us all the way over here. I'm slipping and sliding all over the place. Over here, come for me. I'm over here. I'm over here, where's the snow buddy? Did it seriously not come down the corner? Did I seriously lose that snow buddy? Where are you at, you goofy thing? And apparently it did fall off the cliff. Okay, so I, apparently I have to go all the way up back to the top again and try this again. So I'll be right back. Meet you guys at the top. You know, for all the good deeds Mario does, he sure does take a lot of punishment in these games. Eh, talk about bad karma. Alright, or unless Mario killing Bowser is what causes the karma. Never mind. Alright, come on you stupid snowball for the last time. Hopefully we can do this right. Alright, so as I've been trying to say this whole time, you want to slide down here very quickly, but very carefully at the same time. And once you actually get down here, please do not die this time. Alright. What you want to do after you get at this point is you want to let lead the snowball literally to the snowman's head right here. I'd actually run. Oh no! Oh, that's it! Oh no! Talk about no! What? No! Get up here, you stupid snowball! He's here! You stupid thing! He's here! <laughs> he was right here, you stupid! <laughs> All right, hopefully for the last time, I'll meet you guys up top. Be right back. All right, so hopefully for the last time, we can do this and get this right. I swear I hate... I've never hated snowmen more in my life. Oh, this thing makes me not like Olaf. All right, I know you need a good head on your shoulders. All right, as I've said countless times, what you want to do is lead the snowman's body down the cliff the right way. This really isn't that hard. I know I make it a lot harder than it seems, but trust me, this thing is not that hard. You just want to more or less lead this thing's body literally to it. I'd recommend sliding behind the snowman right over here and... You dog! You hurt! <laughs> Side, I'll meet you guys there in a minute. I am so sorry for the many failed attempts at doing this. Hopefully, whatever t time this is, maybe eighth time or something will be right. Alright, once again, lead the snowman down the right path. We lead him down the wrong path. This mission really is not that hard. Why I am having such a hard time with it, I never, I cannot figure out for the life of me. Alright, so once you get down here, we'll just slide on down. Hide yourself right... No, oh, Mario! Stupid sliding mechanics just right here. Right here, Mr. Snowman. This is where you want to go. Right here. All right. There! We've done it! Yes! Yes! We've done it! <laughs> we've done it! We got the snowman to his thing! <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. We got to talk to the jerk, and he says... Uh, what does he got to say? Perfect. What a great new body. Here. This is a present for you. I'm sh... I'm, it'll sh it's sure to warm you up. I'm so delirious, I can't even read right. Alright, so by doing that, it really was not that hard. I don't know why this had to be that hard. Probably because I had to start singing a weird Disney song. Alright, there's the mission. Do you want to build a snowman? I'm done with snowman. Get our star. Call this mission done. Alright, so with that, we've got the snowman's lost his head. I don't know exactly how that works, but there we go, we've got it. And since I know where the last star is, well, I'm pretty sure I know what the last mission is, we're going to go ahead and tackle it. I think that'll be it for this particular episode, but for now, let's just jump on in and get our final star of this course. Conclude this nightmare with wall kicks will work. Hmm. Alright, so where you actually have to go for this, you actually need to get all the way down to the bottom part here, and you can get down really quickly by just teleporting. 
works the same way to get down and up, no matter where you go. Now what you want to do is, the whole point of this mission is to jump in this cannon and fire over there, because there will be a star over there. But in order to actually get this cannon to activate, as always, we have to talk to a pink bob -omb. Where do you think he happens to be in this stage? Well, he's on that little floating island up there. So somehow we are going to have to climb this little thing, make it all the way up there, and then hopefully jump at just the right time to get on this island. Talk to the pink bob -omb, re re-jump on this thing, and do everything after that. So we'll just jump up here, and thankfully that was easy enough. I've... No, I am caught on the other side of a... Oh, no, Mario. Back. All right, talk to the pink bob -omb. Very carefully. All right, you talk to this guy. He says, hi, I'll prepare the cannon for you. Nothing we haven't seen before. Okay, so with that, he has just opened the cannon. And ready for blast off, and there, there goes our ride. Okay, so I am caught on the floating island, but you know what? We're going to try something gutsy, and we're going to long jump it. And I fly, apparently. Hmm. Well, not sure how that works, but I will take it. All right, so you jump in the cannon here, and I've talked about cannon mechanics before. Just more or less. You actually do have to aim this just right, or you will actually fail. So what we want to do is we actually want to aim for that tree over there, but like I said, aim a little higher than you think you need to, and by a little higher, I mean a lot higher. Now, I'm not positive this will work, but I feel pretty confident about it. So we're going to fire and see, and... No! Have I mentioned lately that I hate the stage? Well, if I haven't, let me just rephrase it again. I absolutely hate this stage. This is the one stage in this game where I can do absolutely nothing, and apparently it is showing in this episode. Alright, so we're going to run around, and we are going to get this thing over here, if I can get in here and do this right this time. Alright, we get into the cannon. We need to aim apparently a little higher than where I thought we were aiming. So yeah, if you were aiming up here, thinking this would work, well, it did not work. Aim a little bit higher bit higher. That looks good. Fire! And can we make it? Yes, if I didn't overshoot it. Thank goodness I didn't overshoot. Alright, so if you wanted to shoot your way over here, there are actually some coins that you could have gotten over here for the 100 coin mission, but this area can actually be a bit tedious to get around because of things like that, so yeah, I'll just more or less avoid this area until you absolutely have to be over here. Now, when you're actually over here, this stage is a little bit tricky. You have to long jump over here. Thankfully, there is this here because we will need this. Now, introduced to this part here is not really a new mechanic, but something you're going to need to actually make work. You can't backflip up here and that would work, but I would re highly recommend you get used to wall jumping. And the way you wall jump is you jump into a wall literally and then heard how Mario went, ugh, just like that. But when he does that, you actually want to bounce the opposite way of what you're hitting the wall. So if you go into the wall and hit it, and then jump again, pushing the controller in the opposite direction, you will jump in the opposite direction. That's how you wall jump. Like I said, you will need that for this particular part right here coming up. If you don't know what it means, that's just more or less, you can see that we're, we are going to have to wall jump in order to make this work. And apparently I cannot do it. Well, you might take damage in the process of actually doing this, so yeah, kind of just get used to that as much as you can. Or not do it. I can't even do this. To do. This is horrible. All right, let me give me a second. To actually, get up there. I'm thinking maybe we have to backflip. Maybe get up there. Yeah, who knows? Well, we might have to backflip to get up there or long jump. Maybe I'm not exactly sure how. There we go. Taking damage. I'm not exactly sure how to get up there. All right, trying this again. This has just been a horrible. Oh, if I fell off right now, I'd die. Oh yes, you have to. That was right, I totally forgot about that. Double jump, then jump off the wall there. So yeah, if you didn't know how to do it, I'll just go ahead and repeat it again. If No, don't die, Mario. If I died again, I'd cry. Oh, I'm almost to that point. I've only cried one time doing a Let's Play, and that was when I killed some double batteries. Alright, double jump and wall jump up there, and you will make it up here to where the star is. So I've shown that twice. I've done my fair share with this. Apparently I haven't done it enough. Alright, last time. For those of you that are playing along, I did not do that on purpose. It's totally on accident. Yeah, I can picture somebody in the comments going, Oh, you totally did that on purpose. No, if I did that on purpose, this entire Let's Play would be an accident, or this entire stage anyway. All right, last time, what you want to do, double jump or even triple jump, and then you could just wall jump up there, then just slowly take your way over this way, or fall off. That works too. And oh, I swear, this is the worst thing ever. All right. Jump up here, 
We're going to double jump. For some reason, I can... I hate this stage. You know what? Alright, there we go. Jumping off that. Double jump here. And then once we are here, we are going to crawl over the cliff, because that's just how this entire recording is going. And then as we go, very quietly, very carefully, one little step at a time, using a crawl feature that I never thought was useful. Alright, once we get over here, get underneath the star, rise back up, get the star, and we are done with this stage forever! <laughs> okay, we're done with it. Oh. I find it so surprising. Oh. <laughs> it took me forever. Alright, so 16th time was the charm, and after we get our 30th Power Star, apparently you've recovered 30 Power Stars. Now you can open the door with the big star. But before you move on, how... How's it going otherwise? Did you pound the two columns? You didn't lose your hat, did you? If you did, you'll have to stomp on the corridor to get it back. Well, there's some information. They say that Bowser has sneaked out of the sea and into the underground. Have you finally cornered him? Alright, so there's a lot of information about Bowser, and I will explain that all a little bit later because it's a bit irrelevant right now. But because we've spent so much time actually working on this stupid painting right here, now we're actually done with it, I think we're actually going to call this episode off here. So, next time on Super Mario 64, we're going to look around the first floor a little bit more, find out the, some of the stages that we haven't finished yet, and we are going to finish this accordingly. And then after that, I think we are actually going to take on Bowser on the first floor. So, until that time, I will catch you guys later.